There you go. Welcome to Jack's Mountain Overlook. Oh yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, check out that view. Today I'm riding to one of my favorite scenic destinations in Pennsylvania. By the way, my name is Mangy. Welcome to the Moto Mangy channel. <laughs> um, great day for riding. And yeah, I'm heading to one of my favorite destinations. It's very scenic in all Pennsylvania. Jack Mountain Scenic Overlook. So right now I'm on US 522, heading south from US 322 a little bit north of Port Royal. And like I said, I'm heading towards a place called Jack Mountain Scenic Overlook. It's a nice little outlook area up on the ridge of a mountain where the road goes right along the ridge and you can see on both sides really nicely. It's also a very popular destination for hang gliders. There's a ramp on the side of the mountain and everything where they go up, people go up there with hang gliders and they'll run off the side of the mountain and because of the way the ridge is along the mountain range the winds come up and go over the mountaintop and can lift the hang gliders way up so they love to go up there and fly off the side of the mountain and ride the thermal crests for hours on end and stuff. Today's not very windy, so I don't know if we'll see any hang gliders or not. It's possible though. You never know. Now to get the Jack Mountains Overlook, like I said, get on US 222, just south of US... Did I say that wrong? Get on US 522, just south of US 322. That's correct. Yeah. And you want to ride towards McKayville, Pennsylvania. Where is it? McBayville? McIverville? Ah. I'm not sure what the town's named right now. We're coming up on it though, so I'll see it in a little bit. I'll put the name up here on the top of the video and spell it correctly. <laughs> I can see on the map now. The town's called McVeigh Town. McVeigh Town. Man, I had that wrong. What'd I call it? MacGyverville? <laughs> ah, close enough. cemetery. So here we are in McVeigh Town. Still on US 522. Once you get to McVeigh Town, you want to go through it, staying on 522. And on the southern end of it, outside of town, we're going to look for a road on our right named Jack Mountain Road. Conveniently enough, Jack Mountain Road will take us to Jack Mountain Overlook. Roadkill. I believe we're coming up on Jack Mountain Road now. This right is it, I think. It's been a while since I've been here. Belleville. Yeah, that seems right. Jack Mountain Road. Well, Jack's Mountain Road. Plural. So turn right at the little wooden gazebo thing place. <laughs> now Jack's Mountain Road is actually a nice road in itself. It's a lot of fun to ride. It winds its way 
up towards the hillside and then eventually climbs the side of the mountain at a pretty good steep grade until you get to the top, which is where the overlook is. And right after the overlook, it's where it crosses over the mountain range top and then it goes down the other side. And the road down is also a very nice, fun road to ride, so. So I'll take Jack's Mountain Road here to the top of the overlook, show you the overlook, and then I'll ride down the other side. Nothing runs like a deer. I think I want to go straight here. Yes, I do. <laughs> I wasn't sure there for a second. According to the Honda GPS, Jack's Mountain Road is a main road, so it's shown in white. Of course, on the white background of the stupidly designed Honda GPS. Now we're climbing up Jack's Mountain Road to the top. This is the start of the ascent to the peak of the ridge line. I normally ride this road a bit faster than this, but I've got a car in front of me, so not today. If you're right up here in the fall time or the winter, all these trees you can see through and the view is really spectacular off to the right here down the side of the mountain but this time of year with everything grown over you can only get peaks through the tree line until you get a little higher up you can maybe see a little bit not much though not until we get higher yet it's a pretty good ride out the mountainside though Those of you riders who like to ride mountain ranges and stuff and high up roads, this is a good one. I think we're getting close to the top now. The overlook comes up quick, so you want to be ready when you get to the top of the ridge. If you're going too fast, it might blow right past it. or cabin, whatever. And when you start seeing the cell towers, then you know you're close to the top. Here you go. Welcome to Jack's Mountain Overlook. Oh yeah. What of you? I guess there are no hang gliders today. Only one other car over there. It was like a Subaru. But yeah, this is Jack's Mountain Scenic Overlook. And that's a muffler. I'm gonna try and climb up there, see what the view is like from the top of the rocks. Moto Mangi is now hiking Mangi. Not bad. We can go higher yet. Uh, oh, pardon me. This tree should be cut down, taken out of the way. <laughs> Honestly, it looks dead anyway. Wow, that's a shame. It is dead. Now that I'm the only one up here, let's go over to the other side. As you can see, the view over here is nice as well, but there's more overgrowth and stuff, so you can't see quite as well as you can on the other side, but it's still a good view. The hang gliders, though, they start on the other side where they push off the mountain because there's too much stuff here in their way. 
Also here at Jack's Mountain Overlook, there's a little, I don't know, cross thing. I don't forget what this is. I don't know if it's a grave or a, I forget. Let me see what it says. Oh, it doesn't say anything on it. I thought there was a plaque on it, but I guess I'm wrong. Here we go. Erected by Mifflin Company Federation of Men's Bible Classes dedicated to the glory of God. So it's just a little religious thing. I don't know why I thought it was a grave or something. <laughs> Get the cars out there on the road. They look like ants. Jack's Mountain Overlook, everyone. Lovely spot for bikers to pull over and take a break and enjoy some scenery. You know what? I'm gonna have a little snack up top there. Yes, I packed some snacks and a lunch today on my bike. Cause why not? Quite a bit of a commotion all of a sudden up here. It's a line painting crew, but the lines are nice here, so I don't know what they're doing. Who can tell what they're doing? I'm climbing the rocks. <sighs> well, they're interrupting my silence and solitude and wind therapy, but that's all right. Time for a snack. These cheeses my girlfriend bought are really good. I forget what kind they are. One has a bit of spiciness to it. Some kind of spicy horseradish or something. The other one's a little more mild. I like the mild one better, but I like the horseradish one too, to be honest. Now I wonder if my chewing comes across in the audio, the GoPro. I really have no idea. It would be a nice science experiment. Here comes another truck. Man. They got a real crew going on. On most days, it's pretty quiet and uneventful up here at Jack's Mountain Overlook. Do not back into my bike. That would be bad. This is a Wednesday morning, by the way. I took a day off work to go for a ride since today's gonna be nice weather. It's the last nice weather day for like a week or so from according to the forecast. I've been here before on weekdays where it's been totally quiet and empty, but Not today, I guess. Well, enough of that. Let's get let's get rolling. Let's get back on the bike. All right, let's leave Jack's Mountain Overlook behind and head down the other side of Jack Mountain's Road. Now this goes down the other side of the mountain that we just climbed over. And again, in the fall and the winter, where these trees aren't so full of leaves. You can see really nice out this side. The view's great, honestly. This time of year, though, it's all obscured by leaves and vegetation. Still a nice road down, though. Yeah, I'm really not sure what the lion painting crew's doing up there, because the lines of this road are rather nice. They were on the side up too, on the other side of the mountain. I don't know. Maybe they're bored. Maybe they're practicing. <laughs> oh, this 
road's more fun without cars in front of you. As you can tell, it's got a few nice curves down the backside of the mountain, which are fun to ride. But they're more fun to ride a little faster than this. Not that I'm complaining. It's still a beautiful day out today. I'm just glad to be on two wheels instead of working. It's also a nice ride to start from the north side here. Start in Belleville, Pennsylvania. The ride Jack's, Mount Jack's Mountain Road s southward to reach the overlook from the other side, from this side. This, this road's fun to ride up. I've always kind of preferred doing hill climb riding, I guess. We are riding uphill and doing curves and such. I like this kind of roads going uphill more than I do downhill. Not sure why. I just find it more fun climbing a hill and going down it. Maybe it's the anticipation of getting to the top or something. I'm sure it's all psychological. That's a nice view. I have no idea where that road goes. I actually would like to come back here someday and ride some of the minor roads around Jack's Mountain Overlook. I won't do it today. I've got some other places I want to hit today. I've got a bit of a schedule, but. Someday I'll come back here and ride around the area. Showcase some roads. I explore roads, because honestly I haven't really explored a lot of the little farm country bill roads around here. I like to. It's pretty much in this area of Pennsylvania. All the roads are nice and scenic and fun to ride. You gotta be careful though. There's also a lot of gravel and unpaved roads around here, too. When you get into central Pennsylvania, it's a little bit of a less well-developed part of Pennsylvania. That's one way of putting it, I suppose. Once again, it'd be a great area for an adventure bike rider to come. You can find some unpaved roads and dirt roads very easily around here. School buses are all parked for the summer. But yeah, Jack's Mountain Road is pretty nice. By itself, too. Stop except right hand turn. Once you get about to 305, I believe it's where Jack's Mountain Road ends. So I'm going to end the video about here. Yeah, Junction 655. Right at this church. I remember this now. So thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you liked it. If you did, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more in the future. Take care, ride safe. And see you next time.